Right. Um, Joe here from the uh, Tom and Joe Show. Um, decided to do this uh, video today on the subject Delta drill arm. Um, the drill does spin on this. It's just very, very painful. Um, yeah, so, well, we've uh, made the drill arm, basically. Well, I say we've made, we started it. It's basically, it's basically the, um, the drill arm skeleton thing. It's going, it's going pretty well, actually. Um, it spins, which is what we're aiming for. So it does spin. It's battery operated, as you'll see in the video. Um, yeah, so what we did, we, we took this, like, um... I think it's like a 9.6 volt battery um, from a cheapy drill we got. Um, it was on sale. It was like 17 pounds for a Bosch drill, and then we cut like um, the handle grip part off of that. So yeah, and then it, and then it fit down this like um, PVC pipe type kind of thing, and then for the actual um, the drill like a cute tip shape. Um, yeah, for that we um, we found this thing, a garden sensor, which is like um, this like prongy thing. Um, you'll see it here, this like prongy thing. It like sticks into the ground, it's meant to like support these um, clamp bolt things, so you can like have them on different levels. Um, I don't know what all this was, but mm, okay. Um, yeah, so so it's going, it's going well, and then uh, we hot glue all that together. Then for the battery, we had to like do a load of rewiring to the battery. We had to like cut the um, the original cables off, and then we had to get some new wire. And now like the cable is like a meter long, so it, like can fit way up your arm and things. And actually, be you can like actually press the button from like a long way away from the actual motor thing. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, the um, and then so the actual to support the the inside of the um, the acute tip, the actual the actual drill here to support like the sensor of that to stop the uh, wires from crushing in. We took um, some of these like plant pot stand up. Uh, we took these like um, plant pot dish things, and then they're kind of like in the center. Of, whoa! We kind of like hot glued them in, and yes, um, yeah. We, we take them into place, and then just to hold it there a minute, and then we uh, hot glued it all. Um, yeah. Cool man. Did we go? Next off, we need to obviously, um, guys, let me get this back out again. Obviously, the, this is like the tip thing, and then so at the moment, it's like a wired skeleton. So, then obviously, we need to like, um, we're gonna like, I guess, fiberglass around to get this shape. I'm not quite sure. I think Tom has an idea, well, I hope he does, um, to get the actual, um, or I guess you call these like, I don't know, like the thread, thread things around, because at the moment, it's just a cone. So, obviously, we need to get these ridges going around it. Um, uh, yes, I shall put this down before I break it. Um, so yeah, uh, I think the next uh, update thing will be maybe a helmet update. You should see the helmet. Um, if you're lucky, I'll um, give you some exclusive behind the scenes photos of never before seen pictures of what it's like at the moment. I mean, it's pretty impressive. We're getting there. We're close. We also, we have this thing here. Can you guess what this is going to be? Oh, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, that's, that's another thing we're going to be doing. Um, we've already kind of 
I don't know, I don't know if you can see that. You can't really see the light, but this is like quite. You can kind of see. There's trans. It's translucent. It's like a red. Tra it's kind of like a blood red. You can't really see it on the camera very well. So at the moment, I'm just recording this on the isolate camera. But that's gonna go on there like so, and I'm gonna have like some big old needle come out of it, and then be like, psh, psh. yes. Um. And then we'll be like, come on, Mr. B. Yep. 